Hey guys, welcome back to my channel for another video. So today I'm doing an ultimate clean with me. We are getting our house ready to have a first birthday party here next weekend for our daughter Evelyn who is right there. She is going to be one years old and we're having a huge birthday party here. So today I'm cleaning everything that I normally would not clean during a like typical cleaning routine. We're going to be wiping down all the windows, cleaning the kitchen cabinets, wiping down the countertops, really nice. Pretty much giving all the areas that become neglected a really nice deep clean. Like I said, we're having a party here. So this week, you're going to get tons of cleaning motivation from me to be prepping my house to have this party. And I did make a to-do list with everything I wanted to tackle. So I have cleaned the windows. I have cleaned the tables. Wipe off the window sills. I did not spell that right. <laughs> clean kitchen cabinets. And then clean all of the counters. Wipe them down things like that. Right now we are starting off in our dining room. If you guys are not new to my channel, if you've been here for a little while, you know that this room has not been in any of my cleaning videos and this is why, you guys, I've left this table a complete mess for weeks now. So today I am finally tackling it. I'm basically just getting everything off of it. I don't know why all this stuff is on here because all of this stuff pretty much has a place. So I'm just going to go ahead and put everything back into its place and then really cleaned off this table. Even when my teardrops start to dry Even when the sun begins to shine So we had a lot of our arts and crafts on this table just pretty much scattered so I'm taking all of it, placing it in this bin and then storing it in the closet in our foyer. Um, I typically use some of this stuff to do crafts with Evelyn even though she's a year old I still like to do crafts with her because I'm an extra mom so that's what I'm doing and there was tons of stuff on this table as you can see it was so dirty. Next I am vacuuming and I have to hold Evelyn while I do this because she is terrified of the vacuum. If I don't hold her, she will scream. So I'm one handing vacuuming this, but the reason why I'm vacuuming it, it's probably, you guys probably think it's really weird, but if I push everything on to the um, floor, Evelyn will go ahead and eat it. And I just don't want to, you know, even risk her putting anything in her mouth and choking or anything like that. So I'm just vacuuming it up before I go ahead and wipe it down. So I just went around and pretty much cleaned up everything that was on the floor that did not need to be there. Next I am using the Method Wood Cleaner to go ahead and really wipe down this table as well as all of the chairs. Even when my teardrops start to dry even when the sun begins to shine again I've taken all the advice there is and none of it has helped I'm so tired of love songs Sick and tired of love songs I'm so tired of you I should probably mention that my husband games on this table. That's why I'm leaving the monitor here, and this is why I'm folding the blanket and putting it back on the chair. If not, I'll just go and find it and take it anyway, so I might as well do that for him. But I just wanted to mention that. Next, I'm just putting down a candle and two pumpkins on this table. I didn't really have anything planned for it because I am going to be decorating for Halloween soon, so I didn't want to do anything too crazy. Again, I'm holding Evelyn into vacuum. If not, she will scream.
Next, I'm just vacuuming the foyer. Evelyn went over to play with some books, so she was distracted enough not to care that I was vacuuming. Next, I am cleaning this grate, and I'm telling Evelyn not to knock over the camera because anytime she sees it standing there, she literally tries to attack it. You will see here in a few seconds, she actually knocks it over, and she steals all of my cleaning stuff while I'm cleaning. This is just real life. Cleaning with a one-year-old, here she goes, knocking down the camera. I can't get mad though because she is really cute. Next, I'm just going ahead and wiping down all of the windows and all of the like trimming to the windows, the windowsill, basically everything because they were really dusty and dirty and fingerprints all over them. So I had to go ahead and give them a nice deep clean and I'm just using the Method Glass Cleaner. Next, I'm just moving into our eating room where I'm basically just clearing off the table. There was just a few things on here, but the other day I did make a Halloween wreath on here. So there was glitter and just like all kinds of glue and stuff on the table that I needed to get up. If you have not seen that video, I will link it in the iCard or down below. I made a Halloween wreath from Dollar Tree and it turned out really, really cute. So make sure you go ahead and check it out if you're into like DIYs and just making things on a cheaper budget. But I'm just using my hand again to basically get everything off the table without getting it onto the floor because Evelyn is down there again. So I didn't want to push everything onto the floor. And like I said, there was tons of glitter and glue and all that kinds of stuff here on the table. After this, I'm going to go ahead and take the method cleaner and wipe it down. But as you see, somehow the footage got deleted. So sorry about that. All I did was basically wipe down the table and the chairs. Next, I'm moving into the windows that are in our eating room as well. And again, I'm just wiping them down with the Method glass cleaner and the window sills and really just deep cleaning them. Now I am just cleaning our glass front door again with the Method glass cleaner and as I was doing it I noticed there was a ton of bees outside that's why I ran <laughs> inside the door but I'm just cleaning the inside and outside and then we're going to go ahead and move on to the windows in the family room. You can see our one German Shepherd that's outside the door. He is our 
male dog and his name is Rex and he is always so nosy and just wants to know what you're doing so he's always here on the back deck trying to peek in the window. We do let them in during the nighttime, but typically during the day they hang around outside because they do shed really bad and hair literally gets all over the place and if they're in here 24 7 I would probably have to vacuum at least 50 times a day. So next I'm just going back to that list and checking off cleaning the windows, cleaning the tables. And next we were going to move into the kitchen where I'm taking the Mrs. Myers all-purpose spray in the, I believe this is the pumpkin spice scent. And I'm just going to go ahead and wipe down all of the cabinets in our kitchen. They weren't too bad, but some of them did have some like grime and just gross stuff on them, especially our trash can cabinet. That one was really dirty. So... I'm just going ahead wiping down all of the cabinets and then using the same cleaner to go ahead and wipe down all of the countertops as well. And while I was cleaning, I was watching the Eagles game, and of course they lost, but that's why I keep turning around and looking at the TV. But I just wanted to say welcome if you're new here. My name is Carly. I am a mama to a one-year-old, like I said. I live in Pennsylvania with my husband, and I do cleaning, organizing, motherhood, lifestyles, DIYs. I have a fall series here on this channel, so if you enjoy videos like that, definitely hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you. And make sure you turn on your bell notification so you get notified whenever I upload, which is every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. And make sure if you enjoy cleaning motivation to stick around this week because I'm going to have tons of it. Like I said, we're having a party and two days after the party, actually it's like one full day after the party, we leave for Germany. So I need to get my butt into gear after that party and clean the house before we leave. So I will have a video on that too, like an after party cleanup. When we got our countertops when we built this house, um, they gave us like a cutting board made out of the countertop. So I thought that was really nice. So I always use it just to hold like my tea stuff on it instead of actually using it as a cutting board. But that's what that is if you were curious. So this took me by So now I'm cleaning the window in our kitchen and this is my favorite spot here in the kitchen because we do have mountain views when you look outside this window so I absolutely love doing dishes here. I'm always trying to do them during the day versus at night so I have the view to look at. I've gotten a few questions on that H before. Um, I believe my mom got it from Michael's. We used it at our wedding and it actually lights up. It has like those big chunky, I feel like movie theater <laughs> bulbs in it. 
It's really cute and they always have them at like Michael's and Joann's, the ones that light up. So that's where I got that. Next, I'm just going to go ahead and finish wiping down all of the cabinets and the countertops. I'm always getting compliments on that pink mixing aid as well. I absolutely love it. My mom got it for me for a wedding gift and I think it's perfect because I absolutely love pink. As you watch my videos, you'll see I have like pink accents all over my house. Next, I'm just wiping down the bottom of these cabinets and then moving on to the cabinets below the sink. I'm going to wipe down the, I guess like the front of the sink as well. I guess that's what you would call it, the front of the farm sink. I always get compliments on this as well. You guys are so nice in the comments. I absolutely love my farm sink and I would highly recommend it if you ever build or anything like that. I love having a huge sink compared to like two little ones. If you made it this far, I just wanted to say thank you and thank you for stopping and watching this video. I greatly appreciate it and all the support I've gotten since I started YouTube. If you have made it to this point or if you do make it to the end, comment down below and I will shout you out in my next video. But that is going to pretty much conclude this ultimate clean with me. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it gave you some cleaning motivation. Like I said, I'm getting my house ready to have a party, so there's going to be a ton of it this week, so make sure you're subscribed. That bell notification is turned on. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know down in the comments what you're cleaning today, or let me know if you have any birthday parties coming up and if you plan to clean your house as well. At the end, we're going to go ahead and check everything off our to-do list, and I'm so glad I got all of this done. I filmed it pretty fast. I did all of this within like an hour, which did not take too long, but yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye guys.